Hello, welcome back. Today, we're going to be checking out a game called Within. I don't know a whole lot about this game. I just saw a, another YouTube video on it and was like, this looks pretty, pretty good. I didn't watch the video the whole way through. I kind of just like skimmed over it and looked at pieces and I was really interested. So I immediately went to itch and picked it up. So without further ado, welcome to Within. When Maya gets a disturbing phone call from her estranged younger brother, Nick, it sets in motion a series of horrific events that stirs the past and threatens to destroy all she holds dear. They abandon the god who made them. They sacrificed unto demons whom they knew not. I hadn't heard from my brother in oh, over three voice months, acted. which wasn't unusual. Nick tends to disappear for months at a time, not returning my calls, and then he surfaces again as if nothing had happened. I've gotten used to it. You probably shouldn't be used to it. I don't blame him, considering the childhood we had. I've read somewhere that siblings with shared traumatic pasts tend to grow apart faster when they're adults. Then, last night at around 3 a.m., he left a voice message. The witching hour. I heard it when I woke up a few hours later. Maya, I hope you're okay. I, I know I haven't been in touch, but I just wanted to let you know. Uh, you may not hear from me again for a while. Hey, yo. I don't want you to worry, though. I'm in a spot of trouble, but nothing I can't handle. I'll figure it out. Whatever you do, don't come looking for me. I'll call you when things are right. You already know we're gonna go looking though. Said this enough, but I, I do love you. Always have. Then why have you shown it, Nick? Goodbye, Maya. Yo, never say it like that. We'll see you again, Nick. I must I have believe. called him dozens of times, but there was no answer. And then his phone was switched off. I took the next available flight out early next morning. I didn't sleep a wink on the plane. I kept thinking about what kind of trouble he might be in. As soon as I landed, I checked into a motel and then took a cab to the last address I had for him. In the pre-dawn light, the city seemed to grow more decrepit the further in I went, like a thing whose core was growing rotten. I don't know what kind of trouble he's in, but when we were growing up, after Ma died, when it was just the two of us, He'd come to me when he was in real deep and needed saving. And I would save him. Well, wow. already this, for an indie game, this is pretty incredible. I should get this over with quickly. I'll find him, make sure he's okay, then head back. I'm already missing a day at work. Let's see, he should be at apartment 405. 405. We'll left click on objects in your surroundings to interact with them. Right off the bat, like, for an indie game, having cutscenes and, like, fully voice acted and, like, some sort of narrative is actually kind of crazy. Looks like there's a pipe busted up in there. It isn't a good idea to move this scaffold, it looks flimsy. I should just find another way around it. And it is literally fully voice acted too. Wow. Gross. Looks like it hasn't been emptied in. I feel like when I say like buy an indie game, it makes like people think it's like a bad thing, but like it just it blows you away because truly not many indie Whose games do idea this. Was it to leave this open? A child might fall in. Have like a clean cut story from the start with cutscenes and narrative and we need to get to 405 or 10 404 405 is way over there No, is there someone here? I just missed them. 
Damn, that's dark as hell. You know me, I explore. <gasps> oh. Hello? An ominous shadow. Huh. Where'd they go? There was someone just here. Well, this is it. All right, Nick, I should just door. ring the doorbell, see if he answers. Although, if he's been drinking, I don't have much hope. I should ring the doorbell, see if he answers. All right, doorbell it is. Ding dong. Nick, hello. Pizza's is here. I guess he's either not home or he's sleeping off a drunken binge, which would not be entirely surprising. Maybe I should just try to open the door and let myself in. Yeah, he could have left it unlocked. Oh, he definitely did. Gosh, what is that smell? Nick? Nick, are you here? Well, there you go. Looks like he's fallen off the wagon again. Off the oh, wagon. Nick, I sometimes think if he hadn't had that accident, if his best buddy Alex hadn't been killed, things might have turned out different for him. Damn. He was 16, driving Damn. home from a party. Alex in the passenger seat. Damn. Nick That's had no business rough. being behind the wheel that night. He was drunk out of his mind. Don't Alex drink was and killed drive. on the spot. Nick survived, but he could never forgive himself for Alex's death. With Ma gone, I was supposed to be the parent. Rein him in. I should have been tougher with him. I messed up there. I guess I neglected him when it mattered. That's on me. No, actually though, if you drink and drive, fuck you. How is he living like this? This is terrible. And I say that with my full fucking chest. Didn't know he kept this old picture of Ma. This was taken maybe a year before she died? Before the cancer started turning her into skin and bones? Damn, they've been through it, the both of them. When Ma got sick, he was eight and I was 15. We watched her waste away and die from cancer. We never knew our father. No kid should have to lose both parents so early. We moved in with Aunt Sheba after that. She mostly left us alone, so I had to pretty much raise him. Or at least I tried. I did the best I could, but hell, I was dealing with my own demons. I guess I made a pretty poor substitute for Ma. Damn. I think I just lost my appetite. You. Would it hurt to clean up a little? If he's dead, I don't know how much cleaning up he's realistically going to want to do. No mirror in the bathroom. Interesting. Do not open, go back. <laughs> right, like this is going to keep me out. But if you're in a one bedroom apartment, how would Nick, you feel that are you, you in there? Are that? you okay? Open this door. I guess I should find some other way to get it open. Um, let's look for a key. The first thing I'm going to help him do is clean this place up. That alone should bring some positivity to his life situation. Or is it one of those locks that we can open with like a butter knife? A knife right there. Try it. I remember that shirt. I think I'd given it to him for a birthday. <sighs> Why does he have to be such a slob? Looks like he's literally living out of a suitcase at this point. 
He told me he was making money on a freelance web development gig. Uh, is that all a lie? The old freelance What's web he development doing with the money gig. He gets? Why can't he get a bed like a normal person? He that is a bed. Oh. <laughs> oh Hello? shit. Hello? Nick, are you in there? That was long. Quit playing. The fuck up. Jeez. Hello? Hello? How Hello. did this door open? There's got to be a light switch somewhere. I see his taste in music hasn't changed. All Hell the death yeah. metal and occult stuff he was always into. An occult. Well, at least I know where like all his me, money's though. going. But where the hell is he? I wonder if he still actually plays. He was obsessed with the guitar for a while in school, formed a band. They weren't all that good. Lasted all of six months. Better than most. I should check this computer. Maybe it'll give me some clue to what's going on with him. I should turn on this computer. Oh, that's kind of cool. Ah, There's gotta the light. be a light switch somewhere. We got a. Uh... Uh, Damaborg, Morbidum, Infiltrator 3, Obliterator, Sighting, Seed, Black Metal, Corpus. Hell yeah. Oh, a USB we didn't drive? move past Let me see if I can BIOS. Find one. Wait, why is your boot disk on a USB though? A little sussy. Just trash. I'm not digging through that. This looks days old. A USB drive? Let me see if I can find one. He used to love these consoles growing up. He'd spend hours locked into those games. I guess it was an escape for him after Ma passed and we were living at Aunt Sheba's. The worst period of our lives. He was such a quiet kid back then. Alright, we need to look for a USB. I have absolutely no idea where to even begin. He's probably been in this apartment for what? 10 months now? How much would it hurt him to get a cupboard to put his clothes away? Hey, it's rough out here. Oh, is this a USB? Oh, those are cigs. They're cigarette butts. I can't really imagine the USB is going to be like where it should be. Who unlocked it? We unlocked it. So maybe in like clothes. Oh, open drawer. Random drawer junk. Nothing useful here. Nothing useful here. Aha. Uh -huh. This could be it. Nothing useful here. Gotti, you cannot hide from me forever, USB drive stick. Sandbox OS, safety, security, and an anonymity. Play log. Finally got it all set up. The Sandbox OS, a secure, heavily modified Linux variant running as a, v, as a virtual PC in the game contained within. 
This may be overkill, but it's better to be cautious considering the urban legend around this game. A single exe file, not very cleverly named, no instructions. To think it took me nearly six months to track it down on the dark web. Oh shit. The things I had to trawl through to find it. The things I don't think I can ever unsee. I don't have much hope for humanity anyway. Broken beyond redemption. True facts. I'll continue taking notes in these text files. If this game is the real deal, I can later use them to come to compose a post documenting my journey for the r slash occult subreddit. Anyway, first things first, I have to get the game to work. It keeps crashing when I click it. The lore says that it won't, that it works at random. You just have to keep clicking. The code is probably corrupt. The stories about the game are fascinating, if not profoundly disturbing. For example, a guy who played it. And it's just code. Oh shit, we're in. He couldn't get in, and we get in the first try. A game within a game. Gameception. The hell is this? This is on our poster. Oh, the door just locked behind us. Like in the real world. Satan. I think so. Oh shit. The door locked or unlocked again. I'm not gonna lie, I would be kind of curious to play this back. Because it's very clearly in reverse. said my name. Oh, and then it crashed. Wait, that file wasn't there before. I'm sure of it. Well, it is a log, so it came up. But, <laughs> got it to run. First impressions, a creepy, grainy, pixelated PS2 era style walking sim game's unstable, crashed four times already. Good thing I sandboxed it. It's chewing up files and then randomly spitting them back. No credits, no title screen, no save load. It was hard to find so many fake leads to leads and BS. I would have given up sooner had I not believed there was some truth to the stories. I finally stumbled on the game almost by accident, following an anonymous link to a file dump on an Onion server. I found it amidst cryptically named zip archives any of them full of unspeakable images. Yikes, I can only fucking imagine. The myth of the game, which I pieced together, sifting through volumes of shit posts for bits of truth, suggests that only one copy can exist at a time, and that it allows itself to be found by those whom it selects. There are stories that it was not created by human hands, that it was birthed full in the filth of the dark web. A digital abomination conceived and formed in the womb of humanity's most depraved impulses. As I spend hours digging into this, the old compulsions are inexorably returning. Dark thoughts, guilt, a desperate craving for alcohol. It's impossible to resist. Symbols in the graffiti are pre-Sumerian, 
suggesting an ancient entity, possibly a greater demon. Perhaps most disturbing of all is its notion that it can... Hmm. So it's a game made by the devil, essentially, is kind of what I'm getting at, that pulls from, like, your darkest desires. Interesting. Can we launch it again? It did save, though. Pretty sure that was Nick's photo in there, but that makes no sense. I've got to get this game going again. Looks like it's crashed. Restart required. It's so bad. For ah! Jeez, Listen. that scared me. <laughs> just the lights. It scared me. The it's just the lights. Apart, uh, like the no rest of the deal. building. Just a fucking demon shorting our, our electricity. No biggie. We'll play log five. Getting worse. Growing signs of malevolence. Waking nightmares. Oppressive thoughts. General malaise. An intense craving for self-defilement. Weird sounds from the other room. Voices. Footsteps. Shifting shadows. An hour ago, the webcam turned on by itself and took a pic. I was able to identify the entity from the symbols in the graffiti. Bail Nagin, aka the the ill spirit of guilt and grief. Here's the ent here's the entry form from Deacon. Perhaps the only demonology wiki with some authenticity. A greater demon from pre-biblical times, first worshipped by the Logani, Logani sect, and then Samaria. Requires human sacrifice, feeds on fatalism, guilt, and grief. Manifests in the re recurring nightmares of killers, in the lust, regret cycles of serial sex offenders, in the dying fugue of dead men walking, in the guilt borne by family members of suicide victims, in the PTSD of war survivors, in the haunting dread of good people gone irrecover irrecoverably wrong, a vile parasitical being that consumes those who it selects. The simplicity of the game is almost certainly deliberate. The pattern of its symbols, the piles of refuse and filth, the writings on the scrolls, all of it suggests an invocation ritual. Have I made a terrible mistake? What am I awakening in the deep dark? This game is trying to... <laughs> This is fucking interesting. Very cool take on a game. Or an idea in general. I, uh... That is my name, don't wear it out. <sighs> this kind of reminds me of that movie where it's like if you die in the game, you die in real life. Playing slender. We gotta collect the four pages. Good. 
spooky. I'm trying to. I don't know how, though. You gotta help me. Nick? I'm scared, Maya. It's awful here. Please, help me. Oh, it crashed again. That was Nick's voice. I'm sure of it. Yeah, that was Nick. I'm gonna get this PC going again. Hello? Is someone Shut there? Shut the door and lock it. Easy. You restart this shit. I'll restart it later. Oh. I need to check. Never do that. That's how you die. It's too dark in here. I should get the lights on. <sighs> oh shit, fuck. Get out of there, you coward. Just kidding, there's nobody, nobody there. But that's impossible. Apparently not, you sound like <gasps> your own eyes. Nick. But his face. What is happening to me? Dude, that sound was fucking wild. That was a good jump scare noise. Let's get this shit going again. Play a lot of 12. Damn. We tried a fucking lot. I saw Alex today. He was here in the apartment, standing by the far wall. He looked the same as he did when I saw him all those years ago, on a gurney in the morgue, the day after the accident. His dead body cold, his face split open, his eyes wide. Despite the horrific wounds and the odd angle of his neck, he was somehow still alive. He called out to me. He was grinning. But I saw the hatred in his dead eyes. I survived the accident, even though I was the one drunk and driving. Yeah, that's a, that's a fuck situation, buddy. He wanted me to follow him. I begged for forgiveness, but I know it's too late for that. There can be no redemption for a man like me. I must go after him. I have no choice. First, I have to call Maya. I have to warn her, tell her to stay put and not come looking for me. Because I know Maya. She'll look for me if she doesn't hear from me for too long. She still feels responsible for me, even after all these years. Still blames herself for all my failures, even though she shouldn't. If only she knew that she's the last good thing left in my life. The reason I'm alive is because she saved me a million times already. But she can't save me this time, not from this, and I can't let her get hurt. If she comes here, damn. Yeah, just, it's the demon that fucking haunts everything. It haunts you. It haunts all your shit. Oh, application crash. It doesn't want us to play no more. Never mind, it does. go through here. No, oh, yeah, we still have to collect the pages. What in the fiddly fuck? Ah, uh, Nick, if that's you, can you, uh, can you come down? <laughs> Am I 
remind me of the fucking grudge. Oh shit. Uh, father. Satan, and that was your brother. Your apartment is all fucked Nick! now. You'll find him. Oh, shit. Nick! Nick, stop! It's me! Nah, I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. <laughs> what the hell? Ah, uh, was that her brother? That was the staircase. Uh, oh fuck. No, he would have went down though. That's blocked off. My, I'm down here. Come quick. The goat. And I go through there. Going down, down. My, come on. I'm waiting for you, my. We're on the staircase Where to hell. Are you? We're all waiting. Accident. Alex's death. My miserable life. All of it could have been different. If only you'd done what you were supposed to do. Who are you? What have you done to my brother? Papa's home. Was that walk though? Maya. So were we taken to then? Sometime later, I found myself back in the apartment. I couldn't remember how I got there. There was no sign of Nick, or the thing that had looked like him and his computer would no longer turn on. I did the only thing I could. I filed a missing person report and flew home. What? It's been six months since then. I've tried every possible way to locate him, but there's been no word from him. I keep thinking about the thing I saw at the bottom of those stairs, the thing from inside the game. When it came at me, just before its awful malevolence could engulf me, something or someone stepped between us and it shielded Nick. me. I think that's how I got away. I think. One hundred percent. I think it was Nick who saved me. The end. All right, 
right, real quick though. Your brother goes missing. Why are you going to file a police, like a missing persons report and then fly home the next day? If that were me in that situation, I would be staying there helping the search parties. But that's just me. <laughs> so that was within. I'm actually very impressed. Uh, typically for, like I said earlier, uh, indie horror games for having like full voice acted and everything, full on cutscenes, a good story, like a story that's planned out well from the beginning to the end. Super interesting concept too. Like the whole dark web into demon thing. I haven't actually seen that in a game yet. See it in film and TV, but haven't actually seen it in a game yet. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. And if you enjoyed Lil on me or this style of content, please consider subscribing. I have a never ending backlog of horror games to play that you're going to be able to view right here on this channel. And if you have any other horror game suggestions, let me know down in the comments because I'm always open to expanding the list even more. So until next time, bye.